Hello, once again, this is Tefubra, and today we are starting a let's play, uh, probably a rather long one, of uh, Sheresh... Uh, Alright, I'm not gonna even pretend. Uh, why not? Sheherishad, a thingy to the past in the 1931, uh, something to do with archaeology. Honestly, I forgot all it. But it's a visual novel, not something I usually do, but uh, yeah, I thought I could give it, give it a shot. We'll see how it goes, and do tell me if you like this. Let's just head in and start a new game. <laughs> On the radio, that was Silver Dawn Gold, or extra in the Silver Mask Tenor. Coming up, we have the Ipana Tabordos and the ENP Gypsies. On the barge. <laughs> the young woman in the sitting room isn't listening. Instead, she's picking at a plate of cold chicken, looking at a family photograph which holds pride of a place on the side table. In fact, it's pretty much the only thing on the table that isn't a map, a note card, or a marked up history book. So yeah, she's an archaeologist if you haven't figured out that one, that one out yet. Female Indiana Jones. That's gonna be interesting. The young lady's name is Sheherashad Keating. Okay, so I guess her family is bilingual, German and um, either American or British. She's posh. I think she's British, but that could be... I could be wrong. Her friends and family call her... Uh, Sadie! Oh, there you are! What on earth are you up to? Not much, Aunt Evelyn. I can see that! Is this how you want to spend your birthday, Sadie? Really? With a plate of cold chicken and the radio on? Don't mess with me. Would you prefer me to spend my 18th birthday in a speakeasy? <laughs> I could certainly think of worse ways to celebrate, my dearest, as a matter of fact. Bigglesworth, some champagne. Oh, I skipped something. Oh, fuck me. Sorry. Let's just pretend that we are... Look, she's... She's just shocked. She had a seizure. A momentary seizure in her brain. That's it. I'll have you know that I don't hold with rot cuts of any kind. If one is to break the law, dear Sadie, one breaks it only with the best spirits available. Oh. They're living that time. I see. I see. That's why she was shocked. Okay. If you don't know your history, then that was probation time. No alkies. No alcoholic drinks at all. Darling, you're the light of my life, and I love you, but you're a bit of a pill. That's a strange insult. <laughs> you're a pill. Hey, girl. Uh, the doctor ordered me some pills for my cold, and I bet you would totally cure that away. Alright, let's go down. Let's continue. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I just want some quiet time, that's all. So, I just find that might somber. You only turn 18 and graduate high school once, and most people never get to experience both milestones on the same day. You should make the most of it. Your mother and father would want you to have a good time on a day like today. Oh, they're dead. Lovely. I know, but... Maybe it would be... If only... I know this is a hard time for you. What with your parents not being there to see your big day? But you know that I'll be there. And Ruddy... Ruddy's coming. I thought he was back in Germany. Hey, I knew that. German. What? I missed your big hurrah? Nonsense, dear heart. Ruddy wouldn't miss it for the world. He's practically part of the family, after all. Ding dong! The doorbell rings. Ah, right on time. Bigglesworth, would you let our guest in and show him the living room, please? Right away, madam. Oh, this is wonderful. It's been so long since I've seen Roddy. 
I can't wait to. You're not ready. Yeah, I'm going to kill you, see? Now, what's your first clue? Sir, do you this is John McMurray? He's one of those children I was telling about a dying the other day. The ones we've been helping. I, uh, may not have been actually paying any attention. <laughs> Awkward. She said, you're going to college. My mom said, the girl is going to college. You'll never get husbands. So I guess you're rich and all, so maybe you don't care. Can I have a nickel? <laughs> I'm sorry, I spent all my money on the textbooks I need not to get married. Woo! Go, girl. Sadie! So what are you two up to anyway? If you're selling him to the circus, can I have a cart? Oh, God. <laughs> you're already in the human trafficking, I see. Really, Sadie? The charitable society of ladies who lunch. Ladies who lunch? Seriously, that's an awful name for a whatever fine lady establishment you have there. He's doing good work. So many young mothers and fathers now can't take care of their children because of this dreadful depression business. Uh oh, this sounds suspiciously like babysitting. Hey, my mom takes care of me fine. The least we can do to help our fellow man in these dark times is to give our time and take these poor little ones into our care every few weeks or so. Isn't that right, my dear boy? Does that mean I don't have to help with the decorations? Tosh tosh, that's just good exercise. <laughs> huh? Wait, what are you doing? Since you're determined to waste your birthday snacking on a lukewarm fowl, I'm taking Johnny to the auditorium. I promised the Baron Teachers Association we'd help set up for your ceremony, and I could use a youthful pair of hands. While Evelyn talks, Johnny races out of the sitting room and off to somewhere else in the apartment. Sadie tries very hard to smother a sense of dread. You don't mind, do you, Sadie? I suppose creep paper flowers don't hold the same charm for your friends as they did for my generation. I'm sure the other students won't mind if they show up to a barren and boring hall. No, it's alright, really. Have a good time. Off in the distance. Hey, what's this in Kabul here? I can scarcely believe that you'll be all decked out of robes and motherboard next time I see you. <laughs> 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 really do grow up so fast. Goodbye, darling. Try not to waste the entire morning. The door slams as Aunt Evelyn makes a hasty, hasty, hasty departure, dragging Johnny with her. Hey, you can help me. I'm not wasting the day, I'm practicing for my speech! Uh. Sadie pulls out a set of note cards from her pocket, moves over to one of the more comfortable couches, and starts going over her lines. Uh. I know the principal wants me to mention extracurriculars, but what is there to say? I guess I could brag about them with the fencing team, and they kind of win everywhere all the time. Making friends, forging bonds that'll last a lifetime. That sounds good and speechy. Well, yeah, usually school things do that, so let's go with that one. Plus ten charm. Okay. <clears throat> My fellow students, four years ago we stood in Amanda, watching a road of academic achievement. <laughs> Excuse me? Stretch it before you. <laughs> And he, she has manly yawns. <laughs> oh dear, this is what I get for staying up all night dithering. Four score and seven years ago. <laughs> Her head bows, she trails off and drifts into an uneasy sleep. 
Excuse me, pardon me, this is ridiculous. You can't just throw someone into a game, even one that is impeccably designed as for without any tutorials. Oh, I thought she was gonna, he was, he was gonna lecture her on sleeping. Oh, you're getting the tutorial, no. Oh. That's nice. Good thing I was here to follow the proper procedures. My name is Phileas Carter, Attorney at Law and Executor of a Keating Estate. I do apologize for this intrusion, but I wanted to be sure that you received a proper introduction to gameplay. Whatever you see a tutorial screen like so, it means I'm offering you helpful tips about the game, free of charge. Yeah, let's keep them on. It is optional though. Would you like to turn on the tutorials? Excellent. I'm delighted to be of service. I'll be popping up again for a bit, but for now, let's continue with the story. She's just about to wake up. <sighs> After several hours, Sadie's peaceful slumber is disrupted by the ringing of the fire telephone. <laughs> She wakes up with a start. Ship is going to the dynasty! Oh good, now I'm having nightmares about exams or classes that I haven't started yet. While you're playing, sure is hard, time will pass. Each day has three phases, morning, afternoon and evening. Normally you can complete three activities known as actions per day, one for each phase. Be aware, however, that it takes hard work for Sadie to maintain her position at the top of the class. During days with school hours, Sadie will automatically spend two of her actions on school and studying. That only leaves one action free on school days. Spend your actions on campus, visiting locations or collecting inspirations. More on these later. Be sure to choose what to do with your day wisely. The game is over once Sadie's progresses. Progresses through an entire year. The phone keeps ringing. Sadie picks herself up from her couch and staggers over to the small foyer table. Hello? Oh, hi, Anna! Ahoy there, Musketeer! Ready to set sail for the crowd of a gym graduating high school? Wait, am I a swashbuckler or a sailor? You make some metaphors. Ah, not class with a glyph and. Sorry. I'm the class valedictorian! I don't have to make sense! Look, I'm in the phone booth outside your apartment building. Oh, it's still Anna. Look, I'm in the phone booth outside your apartment building. And you know, before I go inside, climb 8 million flights of stairs and to wondering how late I'm gonna be if I wait you to be ready. Oh, oh yeah, I fell asleep rehearsing my speech. How did you be so nervous that? You mean you haven't felt? I knew this was a bad idea. Anna, what on earth are you talking about? Look, I better come up! Just check in your closet in the meantime! Uh, okay. But look, just take the elevator. I'll get the stairs. Anna hangs up, and Sadie jogs off to the off aforementioned closet. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Extreme close-up! Over the next few minutes, the crisis becomes clear. She's right! My robe! My border board! My valedictory shash! My gun! All gone! What would they have? <gasps> Johnny! That little... Darn it! You'd think old Evelyn would have the simple good sense of drug a small child to go with those before bringing them inside! Jesus! This woman has a career in human trafficking. A piece of paper flutters to the ground and Sadie picks it up. What is this card? Your first clue! Anna, wait, how did you get in? I didn't hear the doorbell. I broke in. Uh -huh. I think your bottle is psychic. I go to the door and just open it. Funny you didn't get the phone. Because what is usually more everywhere than that. Anyway, you said this is a clue? For what? Sadie stares at Anna in disbelief. As realization dawns. Is this some kind of a scavenger hunt? 
Johnny. Where's Johnny? It's my little child in my aunt's babysitting or charity organization. He's the master mobile in this, I know it. If child has taught me anything, it's that little boys are not to be trusted. Felix was nice! Okay, yes, there's Felix expect there's a Felix exception. But you know, he was 13 when he moved away. He could have gone mad since. He could have been late blooming the ways of masculine evil. Anyway, let's focus on the little monster at hand. Right! You wished me the little boy you out on the sleigh to hide off and all your things. Yes, that's exactly the boy I'm talking about. Why did you just make my arm put him into this? Oh, Evelyn wants me to go on a scavenger hunt on the day of my graduation. Oh, still Sadie. Oh, Evelyn wants me to go on a scavenger hunt on the day of my graduation ceremony. Anna, this is not the time. That's what I told you on, when you know how she gets. She said that's what your mother would have done. Touche, Evelyn. Touche. Well, I guess I'm not that upset. It would be a pretty good joke. <laughs> Imagine if I'd come up here a few hours earlier all by myself. <laughs> I would have been living. Good thing you're here to tell me exactly where everything is. That sure is. I don't know where she hid your things. What? Extreme close up. Hey, don't look me like that. I hope to help her, but she said that climbing up things and under things was the job for strapping a young lad. Not a nice lady like me. Inclines her head to on the card. We're wasting time, let's just get this done. A caper is an adventure which progresses the story and all presents obstacles for Sadie to overcome. The main capers advance the game's main story. Capers that have which endings you see. So try to complete as many capers as you can before the end of the year. Generally speaking, there's one central caper for every city or country city visits, with the exception of New York, which for labels like Egypt, the main adventure. There are side stories as well, all of us need a chance to test her skills and improve her already considerable talents. Now let's return to Sadie's burning nervous breakdown. The card says your graduation key has run away, I fear. I thought your mother box sits on your bed. It's happiest that you're opposite end instead. What on earth? <laughs> well, let's just check. I think we all figure out something before the great sugar heart keating. Think about it! What's the opposite end of your head? What the fuck is the opposite end of my head? My feet? My feet? Under the pole it says my motorboard is happy there. So he's in a shoebox. Aha! The home of happy feet! It's a Savoy balloon! Yo, I no so I spent enough time there. Just about good you get the reference. Well, to start, let's get to Harlem! One long elevator ride later, sitting in an hour at the street room, watching the traffic go by. Occasionally you'll be presented with choices. These are three different branches in the story or different approaches to achieve a goal. The right choice will help you get through the cafe more difficultly or boost your relationships. If you make the wrong choice, you may hurt your relationship with your friends or stress yourself out. Take the subway. Or a taxi. We are rich people, we take taxis. Hi right now, let's call a cab. Sadie sticks her arm up in cab stilms. And then Sadie entered the cab and Sadie instructs the driver to take them to Savoy Ballroom. After a few minutes of driving, they arrive. Well, here we are. Come on, Anna. Hey, Sadie! What's a big idea? Aren't you gonna pay the man? Sadie is about to reply when she notices a passer by giving her an odd look. In addition to a standard choice, you may also present with the conversation choices. These are in different ways Sadie can speak to the people she meets in her capers, or different ways she can react, internally or externally, to events or people around her. Be careful, your choices may affect the way friends perceive you. I'm so sorry, I can't believe I forgot your payment. Slip the driver some bills with an extra large tip. He smiles as thanks and drives away. 
<laughs> Good to see kids holding up to that mistake. <laughs> the passerby smiles and walks away. Who was that guy? I'm sure that I have to tip more than made up for any inconvenience. Let's look for your motorboard. Sadie and Anna go inside the ballroom. Anna looks around in amazement at the press of dancing bodies.